everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 156 on the Manalik. I'm John, as always, and we're drafting what might, maybe, possibly be the last Rivals of Ixalan draft. Next week, we'll be drafting Masters 25. The week after that, we'll be drafting Masters 25. The two weeks between that and set review, I'm not sure yet. There's one other week that we could possibly do Masters 25, and then it goes away on April 4th. And then there is that weekend before set review starts, and I'm not quite sure what we'll do there. It might have to be Rivals, just if there's nothing else. But we can hope there's something else, right? Anyways, we're going to draft. I will see you guys for pack one, pick one. And here we are for pack one, pick one. This is a sponsored draft, of course. This is Daniel's sponsored draft. He'll be getting every card we draft here, including... <sighs> this is one of the worst packs we've seen. <laughs> we might first pick Curious Obsession again. Uh, it's that or Sky Marcher. It's that or Sky Marcher? Like, Goblin Trailblazer? No. No, 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 no. I think it's just Curious Obsession. I feel somewhat bad picking that twice in a row. It does cut blue out of this pack entirely. I mean, basically entirely. Whereas with white, there is a decent card, a decent card, a decent card, and an okay card. Yeah, let's take Curious Obsession again. I'd prefer not to draft the same deck twice in a row, but let's see what pack two looks like. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Uh, there is a Luminous Bond. It's probably just the best card in this pack. Well, oh, there is a Reaver Ambush. They're both three mana. This one's instant. This one's unconditional. This one gets rid of a thing. We could just take Curious Obsession again. Two feels really good. But no, the correct pick here is probably just Luminous Bonds. Um, so I think that's what our correct pick will be. Reaver Ambush is really good, though. I think we just want to be on Luminous Bonds, though. Um, good pack, good pack. Curious Obsession, Expel, Reaver, Luminous Bonds, Martyr, Hunt a Week, Charging Tuscadon, all real cards. But let's take the Bonds. Uh, Water Knot seems good. Another really good pack. Demise, Tide, Water Knot, Martyr, Impale, Hunt a Week. We could end up being blue white, kind of uh, ascend because we're getting all of these enchantment removals. So that could be a thing. But yeah, we'll take Water Knot here. I guess I'd almost be okay with a Resplendent Griffin in this pack. We've got a Martyr, Suncrested Pterodon. Both decent. Blue is less decent. Black has a single okay card. Green is not good. Red's meh. So we'll take Martyr or Dusk here. Skymarcher Aspirant over a Water Knot. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Um, I think just the Water Knot. Skymarcher Aspirant's probably slightly more replaceable than a Water Knot is. It's still really good, and if we are going the Ascend route, it would be a nice late draw. Green's only got a Migration. Red is eh. Black is eh. Yep, yeah, let's take Water Knot number two. Uh, sea Legs, Pterodon, Amulet. Uh, black suddenly looking a little bit open, but I think we'll just be on Pterodon here. It's an amazing blocker, uh, and it'll let us kind of win the game, ideally. So we'll put that in. Three, you go there. Majestic Helioptorus, Cleansing Ray, Evolving Wilds, or a Foil Canal Monitor. Um, I guess we'll be on Helioptorus here. We'll just be kind of blue-white flyer control. Curious Obsession obviously works really good on Helioptorus or Pterodon. <sighs> Nothing else looking open, so we'll take the Helioptorus here. Uh, Moment of Triumph is probably fine. It's not 100% what our deck wants to be doing. But we're not going red for that. We're not taking that even though we are blue. We're not taking a Harness. We're not taking those. So Moment in. 
Suncrest Pterodon number two, I'll probably play two. Yeah, I'd probably play two. Soul of the Rapids. It's loading up on five drops a little bit. But I mean, it plus Curious Obsession is fantastic. So we'll take it. Let's try to take no more five drops. Uh, we won't play in a negate. We might play in Evolving Wilds. Uh, we will not play this River Darter. We will probably not play that Sea Legs. Deck's looking okay. Looking okay. And I don't think I've played Blue White yet in this format. And I've wanted to. Just gotta get Resplendent Griffin or an Azor in pack two. Azor would be nice. Second last pick, Till and Ollie's Crown. Not gonna play it. And a Swamp. Captain's Hook is pretty good. Uh, kinda wanna just take this pack. Obsession, Corsair, Tide. But I think we'll just take the Captain's Hook. Seems really good on Flyers. Like, real good. And we'll get back one of those blue cards. I hope it's not Sea Legs. Be nice if it was the Corsair or the Crashing Tide, but it won't be. Uh, but we'll take Captain's Hook. It's, it's just so good. Uh, Helioptorus, Augur, Companion. Um, I think we might just take another Flyer here. Flyers are how I think we're going to win. We're not taking an Incursion. We're not taking a Darter. I've been less than impressed with Augur. It's okay, but it's not great. Companion, we're not quite that aggro. Although, if it comes back around, we'll play it with the uh, two Helioptrises. Helioptrix. Uh, let's take the Helioptrix. Are we going to take another one? Probably not, because we'll just take the Sky Marcher, I think. Three mana, two, three flyer sounds a little bit better when we already have two Helioptrises. Uh, Moment of Triumph, Sworn Garden, no question there. Ooh, Warkite Marauder with a Siren Reaver. We're taking the Warkite Marauder, as nice as Siren Reaver would be. Um, maybe we get Secrets back around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards coming back. Planes, Naturalize, Dino uh, Gruesome Fate. Dinosaur Hunter, probably. So he probably won't get the secrets back. But we'll take a Warkite. Feel good about that. Um, Forerunner of the Legion. We have one Vampire. That doesn't seem great. Is it still just better than anything else here? Sanguine Glorifier looks pretty bad. We could just take a Cleansing Ray for the sideboard here. I think that's what we do. Yeah, let's take the sideboard cleansing ray. Uh, Arch of Araska, Snubhorn Sentry. I think we are, I, we're probably just the Snubhorn Sentry deck. Block on the ground, get in in the air, get ascend with all of our enchantment removal. We could also be an Arch deck, but I don't feel like we're quite blocky and slow enough for an Arch deck. Maybe we are. Maybe we are. Maybe we are. We're at 14 cards. Let's try the arch. Let's try the arch. Still really want a Snubhorn Sentry, though. Uh, kite Sail Courser, Everdawn. We'll take the Kite Sail. Uh, nada. Well, Raptor Companion. We can play that. We won't feel too bad about it. Um, is this the pack that I said we'd get one of the blue cards back and we got three of them? Uh, we'll just take the Corsair. It's super good. Super good. Um, River Darter. I don't think we're going to play it. We're definitely not going to play a second Evolving Wilds, but we'll take the River Darter, I guess. Flood ain't going to play it. I don't think it's ever correct to play that card. It is three mana draw three cards in Canadian Highlander, though. 
Blue, blue, return ancestral recall, pay blue. Unfortunately, it's sorcery speed. Alright, this deck's looking okay. Would have been good with the resplendent griffin. What's the blue white on common? Or there is no blue white on common in uh, Ixalan, right? Because that was the big thing. There was no blue white on common, there was no black green. Yeah. Huh. Not sure what we'll hope for in pack three. Wow, Siren Reaver came back. We're in the right seat, apparently. That should not be there. That shouldn't be there at all. Um, that means we should be getting some decent blue in pack three, right? If no one wanted a Siren Reaver? Hmm. Canal Monitor, number two. Island in you go. Dowsing Dagger, not the rare we wanted. Not the rare we wanted at all. We could take a dive down. <laughs> that feels bad first picking. Um, we're not taking Shorekeeper over it. I don't think we're taking Prosperous Pirates over it. So I think we're just taking a first pick dive down. We're not taking an Aegisaur. We're not taking a Collar. Dowsing Dagger is just so bad. So bad. Um, yeah, dive down. In you go. Emissary of Sunrise seems pretty good. It's Pious Interdiction, actually. We're a little bit light on creatures. I think we take the Emissary here. We do have three uh, sort of pacifism type effects. So I think it's better to get creature up. We'll get back. Storm Tamer, Depths, Opt. One of them, and that'll be good. So sad I never got to play with Sanctum Seeker. Uh, yeah, Emissary. In you go. Tecotli Honor Guard, Emissary, Windstrider. Depths, probably just a second Emissary here. Um, I've had luck with Tecotli Honor Guard, actually, in a couple of decks. Um, and our deck, actually... Well, no, it misses on the Explorers. But we've only got two things that this would hit. And there are some decks where this just really hurts them. We might be able to get that card back around, though. Because the other white players are going to take that over it and that over it, I think. So maybe we can get that back for the sideboard. But we'll take the Emissary here. Um, coming back. What do we got? We got a Dive Down, number two. We got a Shipwreck Looter, Vampire Zeal, Paladin. Uh, I think Dive Down again, just because we're really going to protect our Flyers. We want to save them from removal. We're not taking a Paladin. We're not taking a Shipwreck Looter, I don't think. So let's take the Dive Down. Um, hey, remember what I said about our colors being open? They're not. They're not. Um, I guess we Rare Draft. Yoink. Blue and white cards. Come on. Come on. How did we get a pack that looked like that and yet got, what, a third last pick, Siren Reaver? Fourth last pick? Uh, we get a one with the wind. That is fine and also the only card here. Because we're not taking a collar or a Sentinel Totem. And we'll play with a one with the wind. Throwing it on a Martyr, throwing it on a Companion. Seems fine. Throwing it on an Emissary. Seems fine. Uh, Navigator's Ruin is not us. Nope. Uh, we've got a Shining Aerosaur. I think the Pterodon is just better. Yeah, we'll take the Aerosaur. I don't think it gets a spot, though. Um, Storm Sculptor ain't going to get a spot either, nor is Sunrise Seeker, but we'll take one. Uh, neither of those are getting a spot. We'll take a Prosperous Pirates. So for the sideboard, we got Cleansing Ray. Um, next pack is going to be Takatli Arner Guard, we hope. So we can take an Opt or we can take a Depths. Uh, depths is probably a little bit better if we end up against somebody who's like jamming one with the winds or something. But I don't think we'll main deck it. 
think I like everything else a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Um, this is where I hope for the Takali Arnegard. We got a Raptor Companion instead. Uh, we'll take the Depths. We'll take a Brantadan. Take a Hijack. Take a Rummaging Goblin. Throw this Arch in. We will not play Evolving Wilds, and that's a deck. That's a deck that looks pretty decent. So let's hope we can actually do something with it. So we have, I guess, River Darter if we're up against Dinosaurs. Um, sea Legs if we're not against Pirates and we want it for some reason. Uh, Cleansing Ray for Vampires and Enchantments. Depths for Counter Shenanigans or Aura Shenanigans. Seems good. Let's add some lands. 8-8. Eight, eight. Sounds good. And we're going to go play. So I will see you guys for round one.